The production of an organic molecule, such as a protein, starts with the identification of the gene containing the required information among the DNA found in the chromosomes. An enzyme exclusively in charge of this task opens the DNA like a zipper. Then, another group of enzymes come and divide the DNA strands into two. Another enzyme goes over one of the split pieces and quickly reads and copies the data coded here. Now, a perfect copy of the production plan in the DNA is obtained. After replication is completed, enzymes close the DNA and restore it to its original state. The copy produced from the DNA is called messenger RNA. Messenger RNA contains the production plan of the protein required for the cell. Protein production itself takes place in another part of the cell. This structure, which we can also call the factory of the cell, is the ribosome. There is a perfect system of production in the ribosome. Messenger RNA slips in from one end of the ribosome and slowly proceeds. In the meantime, conveyors called the transfer RNA molecules carry the amino acids, which are the components required for the protein to be produced, to the ribosome in a complete state and in the right sequence. The amino acids brought here combine in the right sequence thanks to the code on the messenger RNA. As the messenger RNA proceeds, the amino acid that corresponds to the data coded there is added to the chain. The result is a new protein. The slightest mistake in the amino acid sequence would cause the protein that is produced to be useless. Yet, such mistakes almost never happen. Production complete, the protein leaves the ribosome to set out for its duty. All these extraordinary processes take place, not somewhere far away, but right on your own body. The events we have simplified here are actually far more complicated, and they are continuously repeated in each and every one of the 100 trillion cells in your body. The cell, which was thought to be a simple little lump of albuminous combination of carbon, by the formulators of the theory of evolution has such an extraordinary design. This magnificent system certainly could not have emerged by chance as the theory of evolution claims. When all these details of cell biology were revealed and understood, the theory of evolution suffered a great blow.